What's going on guys? Ratchet Wrenches is back for another tutorial. This one's gonna be a little easier. It's for a uh, GMC Canyon 2018. It's 2017, 2018, and 2019. And also you could do the Chevy Colorado, same years. Um, same, same exact engine, so it should be straightforward. But if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure you smash that subscribe button, comment, like, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask because I'll be right there to answer. I'll help you guys do the way. But um, make sure you check out all our videos. They're pretty sick. We have tutorials, car shows, car meets, you name it, anything car related. So please help us out. Buy some of our merch as well. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, you're gonna need some oil. It takes 6.4 or 6.04 quarts, so practically six quarts. So we'll just do six. I went with Pennzoil full synthetic. You do need a full synthetic for these cars. Um, I just happened to go with Pennzoil. Usually I'd go with Mobile One, but I ran, they ran out of it at my local auto parts store. And then it's a cartridge filter, so make sure the V6 is cartridge. The four cylinder is actually a canister, so make sure if you're watching and you have a V6, it's cartridge, and V4, or four cylinder, whatever, is canister. But yeah, I'll show you. So pretty much, yeah, if you didn't know, 530, it says right on the cap. But the oil filter housing is actually, might not be able to see it, but it's right there, see that? Nut, it's a 24 millimeter, and you'll probably need an extension to get that, break it loose. So we made it under the vehicle. As you can see, there's a little oil pan right there with the drain plug. It's a 15 millimeter, so we'll let that drain into this bucket, and then we'll go back up top while that's draining. So we could multitask, do two things at once, and we'll break the oil filter loose and get that cartridge out and put the new one in once it's all empty. All right, so I broke it loose. Just gonna spin it off by hand. Sorry for the shakiness, it's hard to do it one hand. And voila. One, two, three. And make sure you got the washer with it. All right, while the oil's draining from down below, this is my setup. I got a wobble extension just to make it a little easier. It's about probably a foot long. And then I got a 24 millimeter socket. And then I got my 3H drive. Let's see if I can get it on there first try. Sorry, I'm trying to keep you guys stable while doing this. There we go. All right, so we got the old one out, we got the new one, and then of course the new uh, little O-ring, so that one will take off. They give it to you, I know some people are lazy and don't want to do it, but it's fresh, it's brand new, it came with it, you paid for it, you might as well put it on. So this will just pop out. This side right here with the little tabs goes face down, and it will sit right back in. We'll use a little hose pick to get that off, and we'll put it back in the car. New one's in. Make sure it's nice and secure in there. It should spin freely like that, like so. All right, I got the oil filter in and tightened. Just a little side note, when you're tightening it down, don't use power tools. Um, it's just a plastic housing. I've seen guys strip them, they crack them because they think they have to do one more turn and it'll crack the housing and then you're replacing the whole oil filter housing, which is gonna be a good amount of money. So definitely don't do that. And I'm not talking about just the cap that it sits in. Yeah, that's technically housing, but I'm talking about the whole um, assembly, the whole housing. So that will crack. So definitely don't do that. As last but not least, we're gonna pour the oil in. Pretty uh, self-explanatory. So I'm not gonna videotape that, but after this, we're gonna start her up, check for leaks down below, make sure the oil filter's not leaking. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to reset the code. All right, guys, last step. Started the car, made sure there's no leaks now. I'm gonna turn the key to the on position. I'm gonna reset the oil reminder. Let's see. Yeah, now the hood's open. All right. So you're gonna pretty much press the mode button until you get to the oil life. Should be, obviously I'm gonna start from the beginning. So it should show trip A, trip B, fuel range, instant fuel economy, there it is. Oil life, so pretty much now I'm just gonna hold set until that goes up to 100%. If it wants to go to 100%, that'd be nice. Boom. So you should hear that chime. And that's it. 
ready to go. No more uh, oil light reminder, and that's it. So if you guys enjoyed, please smash that subscribe button, comment, like, recommend your friends, check out our merch, follow us on Instagram, and that's it. So have a good one.